Christian, tell us what's next with New Mexico. What can we expect in September? Well, first of all, we, we are hitting uh, two new milestones, which means uh, for the very first time we are reaching uh, more than a thousand exhibitors on the, on the floor space. Uh, of course, and means another growth and extending the floor space itself. And secondly, uh, we believe that we're going to hit 50,000 uh, delegates and attendees from all over the world, which is a huge step again uh, for us. But most important, uh, the content part. Um, you know, the conference, we already have six stages, seven stages. We're launching new stages, uh, at least two more. And uh, so one will be dedicated for the broadcasters, for the new and, uh, you know, all kind of broadcasters which are currently acting in the market. So um, this stage is specially designed or will be designed for the program presentations, for the content presentations around video and broadcasting. Because we bring all the media buyers, the marketers on site, and I think that that makes highly sense for for all the uh, you know uh, broadcasting brands all over the world to come and present not just a brand and talk about um, you know the hot topics, but also present their program to the audience. So uh, tell us, sort of. Um, I know we, we we've talked about this before, and uh, we've been to New Mexico several times. Why is it so successful? Good question. Um, I think. There's still a good reason we are extremely business focused. It's a B2B, a B2B uh, uh, platform and, and uh, business. And I think we attract really all decision makers in our global market. So therefore, um, it runs two days uh, compared to other events. Uh, you know, you, you can really fly in and fly out within three days and you go home with your, with your pocket, um, um, maybe not full of money, but with some money in your pocket. So it means um, there are a lot of meetings about budgeting um, and spendings. Um, and I think this is, this is the, the core uh, reason for, for our success. And, and I mean, beside that, you have to organize uh, a great event. You have to, to provide quality. Um, and altogether, I believe that that makes it success. And, and finally, uh, tell us about what's new on the content and programming side. What do you expect? Well, to be honest, it's, it's still nine months to go. So, I mean, the reason why I'm here, you know, and my partner's here, you know, what, currently we are on the road, we are on the floor to listen to people and to our partners. So, therefore, we're still collecting what's on and what's on, on the company's agenda, on the brand's agenda for the next couple of months. So, therefore, I, I try to hold back a bit this kind of information. Um, but for sure, I mean, from our, we are pushing hard on the, uh, on the broadcasting uh, level, so video is, is, is one of the hottest things, and the IoT. So um, our goal is to present a lot more B2C brands um, at the Mexico, not to launch their, no, it, it's not like CES where you know, brands are launching products, but we would like to in integrate and involve these brands to translate um, these kind of technologies and these kind of de developments, you know, into the marketing language. So we call it the Internet of Marketing Things instead of the Internet of Things. Um, it has to be, uh, you know, trans trans translated and to linked into the marketing business, and that makes it highly entertaining for the New Mexico audience because we can work with some uh, visibility. We can work with products, presenting them or devices but not because of the product itself, but you know, to explain what it means for the consumer communication from tomorrow on.